Hello and welcome back everyone to Human Resource Machine. We are up at Countdown. We're not taking a sabbatical, why would we? We want to do a countdown, year 19. Uh, in this scenario we are supposed to, uh, for each number in the inbox, send that number to the outbox followed by all numbers down to or up to zero. It's a countdown. So uh, you got some new commands, blah blah blah. So essentially the idea is you get a six, you send out to the outbox six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, and I think even zero. Yeah. And uh, yeah. So what uh, what my solution says is you take from the inbox, you copy it somewhere. As you, I mean, you have to um, save it, store it somewhere. Um, then you outbox it immediately. Then you copy from zero, if it's already zero, well, you don't do anything, so you don't have to outbox the zero, apparently. Um, couldn't remember that. Um, so you go right back to the start. If it's not zero and it's not negative, you bump minus. If it's negative, you bump plus. Uh, remember, you have to go either up to zero or down to zero. Um, and that, that's reflected in this block. And it is a, you basically, you just bump your number up or down by one and then, you know, outbox it and repeat until you hit zero and then you take the next number. So let's just have a quick look. So he takes the six, puts it to the outbox and copies it, bumps it down by one, puts it to the outbox. Really, really straightforward. Probably a little bit faster. Three, two, one. And we hit zero, so we outboxed that as well. And in this case we go up from minus nine, we bump upwards, yeah? So that's what this uh, second block down here is supposed to do. And so on and so forth. And that has given us the size challenge. So 10 of commands out of 10. Speed challenge, unfortunately, not quite. So what I also did is again, a bit of this and a bit of that. Um, so we have a slightly longer program, so that would obviously not make the, uh, the uh, size challenge. But what we essentially do is we go to the inbox, we check if it's already zero. In that case, we just you know, outbox it and jump right back to the start. Sorry, there's a lot of errors, it might be slightly confusing, but as you've seen, I've added all the programs to copy and paste into your own version of Human Resource Machine, so it's probably not not to worry if you don't quite understand all these errors. I think I already have some trouble realizing where all of these go myself. So, so if it's zero, essentially you just outbox once and then go right back to the start. Um, that that saves a lot of commands as um, you know you don't do any any unnecessary steps if you already hit zero. Then if it's negative, you go down here and you copy to zero outbox right away, and then bump plus and if it's zero, um, outbox and then jump right back. I mean essentially it does exactly the same thing. It's just that it's a couple less jumps because you have your individual loops for the plus and minus case and don't have to check each and every time whether it's a plus or a minus you, you just go into that once and then you loop inside of this um, inside of this particular case the negative and the positive case um, it takes more commands um, exactly a 50% more commands actually but um, it takes less um, steps when you actually uh, execute it so as you can see here, it does exactly the same thing. We copy the first number to the zero. We bump upwards, uh, bump downwards in this case because it's a positive number. Next one is a negative, so we bump down and um, let me actually slow that down a bit. So we are now in this um, in this negative case, and so we we'd never have to check again whether or not it's a negative number, which the other one did every time. So therefore this takes at least one check less each and every loop and since we have to loop a lot uh, that saves us quite a lot of commands.
Uh, now you have a zero, so you go straight to the outbox. Don't do any of the checks, any of the loops, which saves a lot of commands as well. And then here we are in the positive case. And so we never leave this positive loop again, so we don't have to do the check for a positive or negative number again. So yeah, that's that's what saves the commands. And uh, here we are. Not meet the size challenge, but the speed challenge perfectly met with 82 steps. And that's it. See you next time.